Hello, welcome to part two on installing Moodle 2.2 on Bluehost.com server. This is hosted by eLearningWithMoodle.com and presented by me, Thomas Bartley. Before you go on, make sure that you watch part one. There will be parts in here that you'll have to have done first. Uh, so to begin, go ahead and go to Bluehost.com and log into your cPanel. and the first thing we're going to do is verify the PHP configuration from part one that we had to ask Bluehost to go ahead and do so in the bottom left click on PHP config and the next screen that loads you'll have a couple options if Bluehost changed it for you it'll be 5.2 but make sure you have 5.3 selected and then hit save changes Now the next thing we have to do is manually create the empty database that Moodle's going to use. So what we have to do is scroll down and find the databases section. And look for the database wizard. Now this is where you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it admin example just so that when I'm looking at my databases I know that it came from this video. Now you also have to create a username for that. And I'm going to go with admin ex for to, to match the admin example. So I know that the ex is the username and the thing that says admin, it will be the database. Now I'm going to create a password for this. Uh, after you get it created, it'll pop up and it's going to ask you what do you want to be able to do. And just click all privileges and then click next step. This will make sure that you can add everything that you, that you might need in the future. You want to have complete rights to it. So now your database is completed with the username. And you can just write that down. We'll be using this later on. Uh, and then go ahead and click on uh, C panel to go back to the to the main panel page. Now this next part is very unique. It's something that I didn't know how to do until Bluehost showed me. And you have to go to the PHP my admin and go ahead and log in like you usually would. It's the same password for the main uh, C panel login. And then you've got all your databases over here on the left. So admin example is the one that we just created and now it's going to tell me that there are no tables in here and that that's good that means that there's nothing in here it's empty and we can go to operations. And this is where we have to change the code the, the code. Uh, I'm not a a database or PHP administrator so I don't know what all this means but if you go down to the very bottom of that list it kind of goes off the page here but if you go all the way down to the bottom of that list it's UTF-8 Unicode underscore CI and then click go and it will tell you that it was executed successfully and then you can go ahead and just close that page you don't have to even navigate within it just hit close now we've got all of that set up the database is ready to go uh, now we can actually install Moodle and put a database on it uh, so just to double check, I'm going to go back into the FTP and just take a look at the files on my server. And the purpose of this is just to make sure that all the Moodle files and the database and everything is in there and, and I know what everything's named. It's just kind of a, a last second check. And now I can see uh, public HTML. When I click on that, there is the folder. Moodle example 2.2.1 and so now I'm gonna go right up into that same browser window and type in the address that I need to go to and so for me it's elearningwithmoodle.com slash capital M for Moodle and capital E example 2.1 2.2.1 now some servers 
don't need the capitalization but this is I believe a Linux based server and and that that is necessary but I, I could be wrong um, next you can go ahead and choose a language um, you know by by default it has English uh, EN um, you can go ahead and see that there are plenty of other Engl uh, languages I'm gonna try English in the United States you don't have to you could just go with the standard English one and then click next and now this is where your directories are and you could read through these and just kinda see what it says but uh, basically the only thing you need to that I would change is the data directory you have to make sure that that is not in a public folder and you also I gave it a different name than just Moodle data I, I threw in that word example right in there so that again when I look at this data directory I know that this is the example directory I created for this video and it just kinda helps keep everything in in line and I, I can easily identify what it is your database driver uh, just go with the first one the improved my my SQL that's that's that works fine uh, and then now this is where you have to type in the database name the user and the password that we created earlier on now the local host or the database host stays the same but to just to double check I'm gonna go back to my cPanel and go down to databases and click on my SQL databases and it's just gonna list all my databases for me and I can see which one I have and there's that one it's the eLearn K0 underscore admin example so now I'm gonna go back over to my database name and type that in exactly like it was eLearn K0 underscore and everything was lowercase in this so it was admin example and now my database user uh, again it's got a very specific way to type it in um, eLearn K underscore or eLearn K zero underscore admin EX so just in case you didn't remember you can always go back and check it and then your database password I accidentally used a password that I use all the time so I'm just gonna blur this out but um, this password is what you would make match uh, exactly what you typed in whatever it was uh, this is just a, a misstep by mine so I didn't want to to put that out there uh, so then go ahead and click next and then it says that you're done uh, it kinda gives you uh, a quick uh, legal terms just click continue and then it kinda gives you a list of all the server checks that it did and you can see up there on the top left the Unicode one that was the the last thing that we changed the UTF UC I don't whatever it was I, I'm not a server guy okay I'm not a code guy or a database so that I just kinda knew what I had to click on to make this work and um, so you can see all the things that it checked and I I didn't I wouldn't have been able to do this unless Bluehost had walked me through the first time so then click continue and it's gonna go through some more checks you're gonna see all the way down here at the bottom left there's another button go ahead and click continue again and now you can set up your 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 main account now I'm gonna go ahead and use the same username that we had at first the admin ex but password I'm gonna go ahead and change this right now to something that uh, is just a very basic um, you know this is not something that I use I was just kinda of thinking what would be simple uh, to type in a password and then to show the unmask feature and then you have to use a valid email address and so I'm gonna go ahead and use my support at elearningwithmoodle.com and then you can change some of those things if you want to you can always come back and change this stuff later 
uh, screen reader I leave that set to no uh, city town any place you want to put and then country again I'm in the US so I'll put US and you can pick an actual specific time zone if you want but again you can change this later if you don't know what it is exactly uh, Moodle auto format is best and then when you're done go ahead and click update profile and now you can give your Moodle install a specific name and so for this it was a, a Moodle example 2.2.1 the short name this is kinda like breadcrumbs uh, Moodle EX 2.2.1 again you can name this whatever you see fit this is a uh, description you don't even need a description self-registration you can disable or you can turn it on and then click save when you're ready to go and now Moodle is set up and you can start to customize it you can start to make some courses get students enrolled teachers etc uh, thank you for watching this uh, instructional video on how to install Moodle 2.2 on Bluehost.com server. This uh, hopefully was beneficial to you if you use Bluehost. If not, I don't know how exactly this will line up with whatever hosting service you have. But um, if you are interested in seeing how to actually use the features in Moodle, you can go ahead and check out my other instructional video series which is using Moodle 2.2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, and it was presented by eLearning with Moodle.com and me Thomas Bartley as your presenter. Thank you.